Hello, Cobrats, and welcome back to Undertale and Truckla Tamer. Last time we made it here to Hot Land after a little scuffle with Undyne. We helped her out a little bit after she tried not to help us at all. She doesn't really seem too happy about it. She went back on her merry way. And yeah, we're here in Hot Land. Let's talk to these suits of armor knight people. Sorry, Undyne, like, told us there was totally a human in the area, so, like, us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Nah, even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Undyne. Then for you, dot dot dot. What? Keep on talking to him. What? What? Keep it up? Okay, I guess there's not really much to say after the second bit of dialogue. And right here is a river person. Tra la la, I am the river man. Or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Riding the boat? Sure, how about it? Where will we go today? How about we make a return to Snowden? Because we totally missed that place. I kind of do was cool there. <laughs> Get it, puns. Then we're off. Okay, <laughs> so I was going to show a thing with the doggo because sometimes the boat looks like the head of a dog and kind of skits around on top of the water. Tra la la, heard spiders have a favorite food. It's spiders. Good to know. We're picking up speed. Maybe the current's going a little bit faster. And yes, here is where we end up with the very quiet, creepy, rushing water so called music. Come again sometime. Tra la la. Uh, I'll just explore around Snowden for a second, do a, a few quick rounds to see if there's anything to do. That lady over there has been going for a walk for a while now, but she hasn't moved an inch from where she's standing. Well, I haven't either, but I, but I don't want her to notice me over here. Uh, breaking the fourth wall about the inner workings of NPCs. Ah, uh, yes, it's looking like a dog now. Try to like for a ride. Yes, I do care for a ride, and I would like to go to Waterfall this time. Then we're off on the doggo, floating in the air, skidding around, like I said earlier for some reason. Skidding like S-K-I-T instead of skidding with a D. That actually makes sense. Chalala, la Timmy Village. The room before the darkening lantern room. Alright, I've already been there though, so your information is a useless to me, because otherwise we would also have the internet, but still, how do people figure out how to make those very detailed game guides without with only just playing the game? Maybe they have insider work with the developers or something. I don't know. But yes, there was the thing. Let's go back this way, into the quiet area of Waterfall. Because if you remember, this is actually Undyne's house, and hey, here's Papyrus. Oh, the human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? You know what? I think we will. I don't want to beat up that dummy right there because, eh, uh, you know how things let that go, even though I did beat up the mad dummy. Anyway, yeah, let's do the hangout. Finally say yes. Okay, stand behind me. Yeah, we're going to be kind of holding off on hanging on going around Hotland for a few minutes, but let's just go. Psst, make sure to give her this. She loves these. Well, did you hand it over to me? Sounds like she was playing piano in there. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am, and I brought a friend. Then it wouldn't really be one-on-one. -on -one. Hi, I don't think we've... <laughs> dot dot dot. Why don't you two come in? Fire seems very happy about it. Oh, I'm just gonna ditch. Nah, just kidding. No ding dong dishing for me. Here, Undyne, my friend brought a gift for you on their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. A big collection. Because I know she likes them. So are we ready to start? Oopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. That's a weird place for a bathroom. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? Uh, no. Then why are you here? Ellipsis exclamation point. Wait, I get it. You think that I'm going to be friends with you, huh? Right? Sure, let's be friends. Really? How delightful! I accept! Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. I like your alliteration. Not! Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Hey, it's Papyrus. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you. 
but I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke. I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be... Besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? Okay, let's have a sit down here. Let's sit down and progress. Yes, indeed. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. Okay, off to her refrigerator. Doesn't seem to be doing anything, just looking at all the pieces of kitchenware. All set, what would you like? What are the options? Oh, I was supposed to go get one, but no. Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Okay, we can look around, see if we got sugar that goes into the tea, we got the sticky yellow liquid of soda, hot chocolate in the green cylinder. What green cylinder? I always see yellow and blue. Uh, what's this for their tea box? I will grab myself some hot chocolate. Make it simple enough. Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait, I just remembered. That container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. Cool to know. What about this giant sword? It's an acquired taste. Believe me, I would gladly give you your fill of swords. If you weren't my beloved house guest. Okay, I guess I'll deal with it. I want to drink the fridge. The fridge? You want to have the entire fridge? No! I want to have... You undone. Are you... Hitting on me? Uh, no. I want your piano, though, because pianos are cool. How about the tea box? Let's do stuff with it. Tea, huh? Coming right up. See? Now that's all we had to do. Pretty easy. Getting it all prepared in your sink, putting it on the stove, and doing the stuff with it. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Alright, I'll just wait a few moments. Just momentating it up. And now it goes swoop. Okay, it's all done. Walking around even more. Looks like she's wearing Tim's. I don't know, funny jokes. Here we are! Down she sits. Careful, it's hot. Alright, let's have a nice drink of tea. It's not that hot, just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea, it's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Yes, good talk we're having. Hey, you know, it's kinda strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I could land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt... bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train Dorts to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's, he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I can never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. 
cooking, you say? Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, are you? I'll give you some more. More tea for the human. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now. And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. Oh man, cooking at stream. Knock everything down. Break stuff up. That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. <laughs> Afraid? We're gonna be best friends. Alright, let's do this thing. Let's start with the sauce. Sauce it up. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound in the dust with your fists. How will you pound? Let's make it some wimpy pounding. I'll pass the fist flat. You pet the vegetables in an affectionate manner. Oh my god, stop petting the enemy. I'll show you how it's done. Yeah! Oh yes, quite powerful. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now, we add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best, but I just buy a store brand. They're the cheapest. Yeah! Uh, just put them in the pot. How will you put them in? Let's put them in very carefully. You place the noodles in one at a time. Maybe you could be a little rebellious and do two at a time. They clank against the empty bottom. Nice! Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it! Let's see repeatedly to stir. Yeah, I'm gonna mash it because I do like me some good spaghetti. Stir harder! Mash it and stuff. Harder! Harder! Keep it going! Oh, let me do it! That's the end line way. Gotta break up the noodles, make it easier to eat. <laughs> That's the stuff. Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat! Let the stove top symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hold right to turn up the heat. Alrighty. Because I got some great determination. Hotter! Turn up the heat so great. Hotter, darn it! I think it may be getting a little too hot. Hotter! Wait, that's two. I think we goofed a little bit. Just a little bit. Ah! Man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because, if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. Oh boy, here we go. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch, all out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you got. Yeah! Undyne is letting you make the first attack. Let's do some acting. Attack 41, defense 21. This time to hold anything back. Show me what you've got. Let's uh, do a fake attack. You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. Do we win? One damage. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force. You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Heh, <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid saccharine shtick, but the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the hell out of this flaming house.
Get it health, anything, stuff. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. Huh. <laughs> Her burning house reminds me of SpongeBob's house when he was doing the essay and it was he was in the dream and stuff. Sounds like only fire lives here now. All right, it's the house of mixtapes. What do you think about this, dummy? What? 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 It's a living. Okay. Let's uh, look at the tail of this thing and the fins and stuff. Uh, let's call somebody on the phone. Papyrus and Undyne. Ring, ring. That's Undyne's house. It's a great place to, uh... Huh, huh. Yeah, that's my house. Hi, Undyne. How'd you get here so fast? I ran. Wowie, Undyne. Someday I want to be as strong and sweaty as you. She didn't even take the river person, so she must be a very fast runner. Maybe swimming, running underwater or something with her fishiness. And broken bones everywhere. Get it? Bones because fish. I don't know. Trying to make jokes. About 22 minutes into the recording, but I think a little bit is cut out for random potpourri things I've done. So I thought we do go back to Snowden and see what they are up to as of this point. Tra-la-la, -la, I heard Asgore has a favorite food. And what would it be? None shall know. Off into Snowden. I was trying to do the stuff with the music, but it's all syncopated like. Let's go past the library. I'm walking the long way, even though we're already at their house now. Well, Sans and Papyrus' house. Undyne's just here to visit. Or maybe she just needs a uh, halfway home because her house is kind of destroyed. The junk mail. How nice of you to check my mail for me. Wait, no, that's very strange. Yeah, I was just being curious, you know. Hey, punk, what's up? <laughs> At you, Papyrus, how can you stand this cold? I have no skin. So why don't we stand in Grilby's instead? Because I hate grease. But you don't have a stomach. No, but I have standards. Very high standards that we meet up to. I'm so glad you and Undyne are friends now. You two go together like pasta and burning. Ha, I get it, because jokes are crazy. Pirates, why do you live in a nice wasteland? The rent's cheap. Really? Don't you live in a huge house? Yeah, but my brother pays for it. Where's your brother get the money to pay for it? Oh, that's simple. It's a mystery. Ah, good to know the stuff. Let's give him a call on the phone. Be like modern day stuff where we text each other two feet away. Ring ring. Snowden, home of Papyrus. That's the slogan, right? Because we are right in front of him. Let's get directly in front of him and give him a call. Ring ring. I'm petitioning to change the slogan. What are you petitioning to change it to? Quick edit, let's go into the house and ravage it when they're not even here. If Undyne's so cold, shouldn't she go inside to warm up a little bit and have some spaghetti or go to here where there's probably a lot of hot stuff going on in there? Whatever Sans could be doing, if he even is in there, he seems to be everywhere, just like Megan in The Walking Dead. I'd say we've done a little bit of stuff in this episode that would equal out to enough of an episode length to even out with the 24-ish minutes that happened last time, especially me talking so much right now. So yes, until next time in Undertale, where we actually do explore Hotland a little bit more than we actually have, don't toast yourself. It's the perfect revenge! <laughs> Believe me, I would glad you- glad- I would gladly- I would gladly give you your fill of swords. <laughs>